What's up everyone? All right, I got another Elementor trick. And this one, this one's gonna be super easy that anybody could do. And that's gonna be adding a gradient to your text and titles. But we are not going to use another Elementor add-on or any additional plugins. Because for me, I personally try not to use add-ons if I don't need them. I don't wanna add extra plugins for something that's very simple to do. And making your titles and text gradient it is very simple. Anybody could do it. Just follow along. There is a very small snippet of CSS. All we got to do is copy and paste that over and I'll show you where to make your edits and changes. That way you can make your gradient titles look really dope. All right. So let's dive into Elementor and have some fun. So here's a title that we're going to use. I'm going to make this title gradient for this tutorial. The first thing we want to do is let's grab the snippet of CSS. Now you can find a link inside the description that'll take you to the CSS and all you got to do is copy and paste this over. Now for this tutorial, I'm going to place my CSS inside the customize. I like to keep my CSS here when I am in development and making changes to the website because it doesn't get cached and it's easy to edit and I could always see my results right away. So let's copy and paste that over. Now for this, it's going to work on any heading text in every paragraph. So if you are using a heading widget or a text widget, it is going to work. Now let's go ahead and publish this. Let's go back over to our home. Now the first thing we want to do is we want to go to the element that we're going to make gradient. So we're going to click on our heading and then go over to advanced right here. And all we need to do now is put in our CSS class. So let's go back over here to our customize, to our CSS. Our class is going to be this right here, the g-text-1. Now there's a reason why I labeled it this way and I'll show you that in a little bit later. So all we gotta do is copy and paste this over. Make sure not to add this decimal right here. You don't want that when you put it inside your CSS classes. Just this part right here, the g-text-1. So we copy and paste out right inside here. Let's go ahead, hit, hit update right here. And I'm going to refresh the page. Same thing here. I'm going to refresh the page. So that way we can see our changes. And now we can see it's gradient. Let me go over here to our CSS and I want to show you exactly how this is working. Now, if we go here, this is all of our classes It's targeting all the text. You don't want to change this. Just leave it as it is. That way you could take this class and you could put it on any heading or text widget throughout your site. What we are going to edit is going to be right here, the color hex codes. So this is how you are going to change your color codes and make it fit more the style of your website. You get super creative right here. And the only other thing we were going to want to edit is going to be right here where it says 120, the DEG, which stands for degrees. So this is the rotation. So let's say we put this at zero. You can see that it changed things. We got this yellow color going to the green right here. Let's say we put it at 90. That's 90 degrees. So that way we got the green is going, you know, vertically it's going down up and down and if we say we do 180 oops yeah 180 now it's going more at an angle so you would only play with this number right here to change the angle of the gradient and rotate it and all you got to do is make sure that you leave it just like this only change the text don't put a space right here and to make sure that we keep the commas right here so you're only going to edit this now i want to show you something really cool very helpful a tool that i use and that is a css gradient generator so right here we could actually play around with the css that's how i got the css or the color codes i should say for the gradient that I use. So you could click on this and you could change it around and see it working in real life. So if I want to use a gradient like this and you can see how it looks, then you could take the color codes right here and all you got to do is edit them right inside here. And that's it. It's that easy. It's super easy to do. You don't need an additional widget or a plugin in order to create this effect. And you're going to keep your websites a whole lot lighter. Now, what I like to do when I'm building my site is I like to create about three or four different styles. I don't want to just 
be stuck with one. So what you could do is right here, you could copy and paste this whole section. I'm gonna create two of them. And then you could just go through each one of these and let's change them to two. And then the next one you could change to three. And now we have three different ones here. So we have one set up here that we could use for this style and this color. Then you can make another one with a different style and different color. And again, for the third one, I keep it around three or four. I want to do more than that because we don't want to have too many inconsistencies on the website because it's not good for the design, but you can get creative and have two, three or four of them. And then all you got to do is say you want to use this style, a different color instead of having GTEx one in there. And then you would just put your GTEx two right inside the CSS classes. It's that easy to do. There's no need for a plugin or anything like that. Well, I hope this helps out. I hope you guys can minimize your add-ons and the plugins you're adding to your elemental websites. I got more videos and more tricks on how to achieve things without having to add a plugin or elemental add-on in order to get it done. Because lately for the last couple of years, our design studio has been focusing on keeping our Elementor sites really light and fast. So we got a whole lot of interesting things coming up. Make sure to subscribe, like, you know, all that good YouTube stuff. And I'll be back again with more Elementor ticks, tricks, ticks, tricks with, it. with more Elementor stuff and more web design related content. All right. Thank you.